is this Kavya? Yes. I'm Rashmi Kavoy from Speakers. A mock interview was scheduled today? Yes. Okay. Uh, so, are you free at the moment? Yes. Okay. Uh, so, before we start with anything else, can you tell me something about yourself? Firstly, I would like to say thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. I'm Kavya Murthy. I've done MBA from Madras Institute of Management and Information Technology with 6.91 CGB, where I've taken finance as my specialization. And I've done two projects related to finance. First one was about a study on role of NBFC in current Indian economy. And second one was about a study on risk perception and portfolio management of equity investors in Bangalore. The uh, non-banking financial companies are those companies where they provide the financial assistance to common men, people, middle men, people and poor people. Their main objective is to be the better standard of living for these people. And if I speak about risk perception and portfolio management of equity investors in Bangalore, it's all about how the investors invest their money in the stock market. Yeah, and uh, it's all depend upon the human perception and the heavy positive attitude towards the stock market. There. And the investment will be more, more, the income will be more, and the returns will be more. If, the, if their income is low, the returns will be low, risk will be low, and the, it all depends upon the human perception. If the, it all, some will have positive attitude towards the stock market, and some will have negative attitude towards the stock market. And if I speak about my undergraduation, I've done become with 6.91, 7.7 CGPA, where I've taken accounts as my specialization from SSM Harvard Degree College. And uh, if I speak about my family background, my father works as a driver in a private organization. My mom is a homemaker. We consist of only three members in my family. And I'm very dedicated to my work. And I have, if I speak about my work experience, I have one year of experience in EXL company. I am a procurement operations team as a P2P. I'm working in accounts payable team. My role is to provide the uh, invoices to the vendors and review the documents and to find out the discrepancies between the documents and in the tool. And uh, later on, the PO will be generated. Next, uh, next will be the PO will be moved on and we will be created. Later, the payment will be through account payable or through cash. It will be decided on the later status. And this is now one of my job group. And uh, can you tell me more about your current organization and about the team you are working with? Yeah. Uh, about my company, EXL is a service based company. Uh, we are into uh, logistics, travels, uh, supply chain management, uh, financial services, health case, all, all kind of services have been provided by the organization. And, uh, it is one of, it, it is headquarters in America, USA, Princeton. And, uh, my team, we all look into, we are into healthcare sector, pharmaceutical sectors. And this is all about this is all about become organization. Uh, can you tell me about a recent team project which you were a part of? Recent team. I'm working from for the same team since from past one year. Okay. For the same role itself. So like how do you handle success, failure and risk in general? Yes, we, we will. Success uh, is all the, uh, in the month of December or in the April, we will be getting more volumes and we will be able to complete all the volumes in the given period of time. It is a success factor. Risk is not much. We will, we will handle many risk in this because many, many more volumes will be generated in those times and it is very difficult to handle by one or two persons. So that is little risky in this. Uh, but also we will manage ourselves and make the work more easy and we'll make more we'll make our work smart. Okay. Uh what steps do you take to solve a business problem? What steps? By thinking out of the box like brainstorming. Uh, these kind of analytical skills make our work uh, we will be using to solve the problems. 
um, like in your experience of one year, uh, uh-huh. what was the most challenging thing which you come across in your job role? Hmm. Well, that's what uh, so providing in a uh, accurate manner. That too, in a short period of time, is little challenging. Uh, what are your greatest strengths as a data analyst? Data analyst to be a good uh, analytical thinker and should have coding knowledge to be a good anal- data analyst. and uh, should uh, think or uh, in a 360 degree analysis is needed for to become a good data analyst um uh, what is the largest data set you have to work with actually i um, i work in excel and i don't have much idea about data analyst i am planning to get a course for data analyst so i uh, i will make sure that these the knowledge in the data analysis is not sufficient my knowledge is not sufficient so i want to so go up to that okay so like you have not worked as uh, a data analyst but uh, what is the type of data which you have worked with in your excel in your, in my excel we the all the ids like requests will be there those will be Uh, taken into the excel format from there we a raw data will be given after that when we work from there we, we by using pivot tables and uh, all the char di- and all we by using those tools we will make into a finished one and by which makes our work easy we use the excel fix Uh, so like this data so you have to find this data yourself or do you guys are already provided with the data already they will be provided okay and is there a process which you use for cleaning the data process for cleaning the data no okay so like how do you deal with like if the data is missing or maybe the data is duplicate so how uh-huh. do you deal with that situation it it, it can can be it can be easily found in the excel format because everything will be formatted there okay so suppose uh, since your work gets very technical right and uh-huh. if there is a non technical person so how uh-huh. will you explain that person about your work by by taking some training sessions by giving more uh, importance and by giving more time spending more time on them will make uh, me to get easily understand what is your experience in conducting presentations have you like presented anything before your teams in my college times i used to present now i'm, I'm not presenting but i'll report to my manager So according to you how important is a person's communication skills when it hmm. comes to like data analysis sorry i didn't get you so in terms of data analysis how important is a person's communication skills it's very important because whatever we speak one should understand and one should know what they are saying so communication plays a very important role verbal and non verbal skills are very important for data analysis and how do you present your findings to your management like you said now that you have to report to your manager so uh-huh. like uh, how do you present yourself in front of the management is there like team meetings or is it yes, face to face okay. meetings and i will be prepared if if there is a meeting i will be well prepared and i'll show all the data which i have done and i'll show my work was what and all i have completed and and I, it it will be on daily basis okay uh, may i know like what is the current ctc 3.15 and how much high care expected around 30 to 
and may I know like what is the reason for change because changing an organization or a job is a big decision, right? So, so what made you take it? Okay, got it. Okay. Uh, again, I wanted to ask you like what was your location? Bangalore. So are you looking for the ba- same location or is it? I'm okay for any location. Okay. I think I have gathered all the information which I required from this call, Kata. And okay. it was really nice talking to you. Okay. Do you have any questions from me? Uh, can I know so in which part I should improve myself? So that. Uh, okay. So, uh, so for the feedback part, you'll have to wait for a while because it will take some time to create okay, okay. a feedback specifically for you. Oh, so we'll okay. just make it and we'll make sure that you receive it as soon as possible. Yes. Yeah, Thank you so Thank much, Kavya. You. All the best and have a good day. Thank you. The candidate sounded really confident during the mock interview. Their qualification is impressive. So is their knowledge and experience. Their show of readiness and presence of mind is really good. Overall, they proved to be a promising candidate. During an interview, the interviewer wants to see how passionate you are about the company and role, along with your knowledge and skills. The more confident you sound, the better. This candidate showcased really good communication skills and knowledge, which is definitely a green flag for interviewers. This was the entire video, and thank you for watching.